few days ago, we received an email from Make-A-Wish. They grant life-changing wishes to critically ill children. We couldn't be more excited to help, so we've got the community and our partners behind us to try and make this happen. We've got a young guy, Juan, whose dream it is to be an esports player for the day. With the JBL Quantum Cup coming out, do you think you can help us out? Yeah, we'd love to be involved. How about we up the ante and put him right through to the finals? That would be fantastic. Now I just need to find him a teammate. Well, just flip them a text. Let's see how it goes. A Kiwi gaming duo. Kiwis Chris Hunt and Sam Pearson. $45 million prize pool. Quiz and cover H. Well, I guess there's only one more thing for it then. Yeah, of course. There you go. What advice do you have for, for one? The first one is obviously to have fun. That's why we all play games in the first place and be confident and just to do your best. All right, so Juwan's up in Whangarei. We've got to go for a bit of a road trip to see him and surprise him. Let's go. Drove up from Auckland to Whangarei today to uh, meet with Juan. We're about to go and surprise him at his house with his wish today. Tell me a little bit about how you got into gaming. Just through my cousin. You know, there was times we were in the hospital like for 14 days a month, just doing jabs and the nurses will come through with a laptop just to keep his mind off being pricked or whatever, or taking bloods and stuff. That really helped them with medical. It's just about having fun and clapping people. Especially. Getting wins in that and dancing on people as well. He's come really, he really loves it, eh? Then he got his wish just through playing the games and stuff. And yeah, no, that, that's really blown me away. I've got a lot of really respect and thanks to make a wish for making his wish come true. I see you've had a few practice games with Twiz. How do they go? They went good. K went to uh, win, two wins. He got um, 15 kills and I only had three. Just having fun on the game. Well, a fabulous Make-A-Wish Foundation video and of course opportunity has been presented. Twiz comes on for a bit of a chat. Twiz, firstly, uh, I just have to ask, what's the story behind the Make-A-Wish here today? Yeah, so it's an awesome opportunity for me to be able to give back. You know, I got invited to participate in this Make-A-Wish with uh, Juan. You know, come in and try and show him the ropes of a competitive tournament. I think it's going to be great. Firstly, I just wanted to give a shout out to obviously JBL for hosting Make-A-Wish. I think it's awesome that Make-A-Wish is getting involved with more gaming things. You know, that's a global thing that I'm sure there's tons of kids that want to get involved with. I think that's awesome. Thanks for coming on, having a bit of a chat with us today, Twiz. Best of luck for today's matches and hopefully Juan has a, a nice day playing and competing. It's nice, as Twiz said, Mini, to be able to see not only Make-A-Wish is, you know, getting involved with gaming, but to help provide these kind of opportunities. Yeah, it really is. It's great to see, you know, so many opportunities being given by way and make a wish. And, you know, to play on the big stage is going to be a great opportunity for Juan and, uh, and Twist to get back into the game, of course, as well, which, you know, we don't see that too often, I feel like. We don't see many, you know, ex-pros coming back to the game. And it'll be interesting to see how he fares up. It's going to be, you know, a little bit, a little bit of a, an interesting balance. Match two on the other side. Mini, Timmy, take it away, fellas. Look at this. Juan and Twiz. Juan not taking too much damage, but Twiz absolutely getting aimed up there. But they are above. They're not going to go down to Surge. It's looking good. Twiz and Juan do survive the Storm Surge as Zone pulls top right. Only one team currently in Zone might have just been gifted high ground mini. Yeah, they really might. I mean, that's a great opportunity for that team. But now Alec hopping in the box, having to try and pick up the elimination. But they do. But no, it looks as though Twiz does fall. It's Juan and Twiz going down right there. It's Spiker and Raikou who do pick up those eliminations. So unfortunate for that duo right there.